Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Army Truck Tom, and we are officially preparing for Iceland. This means we have to do a little bit of maintenance beforehand. So, um, my car is leaking, we need to fix that. Uh, Odin needs to do something about his brakes. He's not going on Iceland, but he needs to work on his mower as well. Uh, I am going to fix uh, also my uh, windscreen wiper because that failed in the, uh, in the movie uh, a couple episodes back. That still needs to be fixed. So, either we're going to fix it or I'm going to exchange it for a new one, either way. Um, and some other random stuff we need to do. So, let's get cracking! <laughs> We got new internals for the brake mass brake cylinder, and as you may know, we it was a new mass brake cylinder, but well, there's an issue here. I don't know if you can see that right now, but it's completely wet. It's leaking like hell. <laughs> I, let's see here. Where is it? It's over here. There it is. So <sighs> it is time we are doing the most fun thing ever, and that is the brakes again. I was thinking he. I was. I was also almost thinking Odin was doing the mannequin challenge. What? The mannequin challenge. Like, you know, standing completely still. Okay. Like someone is time freezing everything. Is that a thing now? It's a thing. <laughs> yeah, put it right there. Yeah. Should I give it to you? No, just leave it there. Uh, here. I think the bolt has grown inside. We had a little brake issues again, but we didn't expect it to be I this just bad. pulled it out and it was immediately like this. So it's, I'm it's, just, I'm, I'm gonna... it's, it's just falling apart here. Yeah. <laughs> Literally falling apart. Yeah, it's, it's, it's done. The rubber, it's like I can just snap it in half. Bad rubber. That's too old. That's what rubber does. So most of the time all the new old stock stuff is really well preserved. I mean we've got uh, the replacement uh, parts for that are also new old stock. Yes. But that rubber is just fine. Well th that's newer. That's not as old. That's uh, aftermarket. That's not the... Uh... Is there a date on here somewhere? No, no there's not. Interesting branding though. <laughs> I'm not gonna it's it's an old brand but think, you know I think the box is trying to tell me something I don't know maybe 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 but anyway yeah I'm yeah so it's good we are going to replace it and really re reinstall a new yeah internals well this is a uh, new old stock so basically original uh, unimog part this is by the brand uh, seen aftermarket and they're just a little bit different there's no uh, screen here with this one there's a little screen yeah, that was a screen that was completely yeah full and the front is a little bit different and i'm not sure if that matters it shouldn't i think maybe it's a better design I don't know. This Maybe. chamber, that means that this chamber is smaller because of this. Maybe it'll break harder than... I don't know. <laughs> I'm, that's the thing with brakes. I don't know how that how that uh, is uh, compared to each other, the, 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 how big the chambers are and what the difference is. Yeah, I, I don't know either. 
it's uh, it's complicated. I know that like fluid goes in, yeah. breaking comes out. Yeah. And this is problem number two. Let me see if I can get a little closer. As you can see, my carp has been leaking. It smells like gas inside. And that that's not good. Okay, so we have here this little cover. And I think that is where it is leaking. Because this is where it is leaking on most of the penny mocks I've worked on. Now uh, yeah, there it comes. There's a gas. Yeah, there's not a lot of gas in the in the chamber. Now I don't know if you can see this, but there this little copper ring here is a little bit damaged. So that's where it is leaking and also uh, the rubber seal inside here has a little flake So I'll be replacing this one. Maybe I'll just put on a different cover because This copper ring is pushed completely inside the cover and it should be Well, not like that And and this one as you can see it's all dirty and old But the ring On the cover here, that's a loose ring, see? Tiny ring. It falls into place here. And it fits... It fits snugly inside there. And this ring is just... Completely squashed in there. So I think what the Bundeswehr did while, while rebuilding my engine... Is they put on a little bit... Too big of a uh, copper washer and just go like ah fuck it we'll just push it in there and it'll fit and it run for a couple of hundred uh, kilometers maybe a thousand now it's leaking so I am going to see if I can remove this ring and put in a new one or did I have to switch covers and you know take this old dirty cover and put that inside. I will of course also renew the rubber seal that's on the inside. Okay so here you can see all the uh, nozzles for the gasoline. I have two of each so two of them are idler nozzles and two of them are just uh, for your uh, go juice. Fun fact, this is a this Zenit ca carburetor can be found in some Porsches. In fact, that means that the Unimog is somewhat of a sports car. <laughs> hey, hey, it, it, it's a cabrio. Uh, it's a cabrio. It has a straight six cylinder. It had more than 80 horsepower. It has nice big rims. It's a uh, 20 inch alloys. I mean steels. <laughs> yeah. Also, I have I have my box squad of 3000 here because we have a lot of wasps this year. I am going to remove these little nozzles. Let's see, how do I get through to there? There we go. These are actually remarkably clean. So I have no idea if you can see that. Let me just try. I'm gonna just try and let you guys look through this. Of course that's not gonna work, is it now? 
There you go. See, you can actually see right through this one. So it turns out that the seal and the, the little uh, cover was not the issue here. And, well, the carp still leaked a lot. So we've gone ahead and bought ourselves an entirely new uh, set to overhaul everything. And let's hope that by rebuilding everything, she will finally stop leaking. It was leaking like dripping out of here. Yeah, which is technically not possible because there are no fuel lines going to... Well, there shouldn't be fuel on here. Like So it probably was dripping on... On here and then... So... Um, and yeah, I think uh, one of you guys uh, on the internet has commented that that probably my float wasn't right because it was um, it was having some trouble on the hills. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Yeah. So one and one is equals two, and we figured out that we have here this this little thing. This is the new one. This is the new one. The old one should be here. And I don't know if you can see that. I can try. But there's a little... There's a little needle inside here. And on this one, it's now sitting lower than the new one. And this just it doesn't come out. It's just... It's stuck in there. So this is constantly open. Meaning that all the fuel can go... Straight into the uh, straight into the engine, actually. Yeah. English? Do you speak it? <laughs> Sometimes. And so, so when you when you uh, uh, stopped and the, it went back to idle, it closes. Yeah, because it mostly leaked when the engine was off. Yeah. Then it started dripping uh, at these two points, which conveniently are the furthest points that are outside the uh, tray that catches uh, the fuel that leaks so it was dripping on the uh, Man exhaust, exhaust manifold yeah so it was um yeah very um very um spawned <laughs> exciting also this is the uh how you call f the the accelerator pump if I'm correct, and also the rubber from this one is a little bit, yeah, damaged. So, yeah, let's, uh, we are going to put it back together now, because... We got a new set. Yeah. A complete set, completely complete, well, almost complete. Almost complete new only, set. Only these are the only things that are not in the set. I oh, that's found. the uh, the downpipe. Yes. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, no, yeah, here, right? I don't know. No, here. Fucking. Yeah, <laughs> so that's that. Uh, we didn't film the uh, taking, it taking it apart because, well, you can just rewind this stuff and then uh, you can see how it comes back apart, right? Right.
There we go. <clears throat> I knew that. <laughs> Done? Oh wait. Okay. Will it leak or will it not leak? Will it explode? Okay, so some of you might have noticed that the windscreen wiper stopped somewhere during uh, the mid uh, mid video last time. That's my lovely wife. And I think I found the culprit. I was thinking that maybe the entire motor was fried, but I actually think that on these two contacts here there should be a little spring like the one that is laying over there so I think that that is our problem I'll try and install it and then we'll see if it works again okay so I got the little spring out and I'm just trying to Hook it on here, and I need another finger like that. Something I think, or is this no, Tom? No, 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 that's going to cause a shortcut, short out because this is ground, and there's an there's the positive, positive and ground. So if I connect it use the, using only this spring, it's not okay. So probably what happened is I found this little thing. And this broke. I think this piece of 
I don't know what it is, was supposed to be around here so that it wouldn't short out. But now I need, I think, just a small zip tie would do the trick as well. Let's find out. So, okay, so I used a little zip tie here that is plastic and non-conductive to connect the two. Well, let's see what happens. This one. It looks like it is back in action by doing absolutely nothing, but okay. Now we can actually see how the internals work. So these, this is <laughs> this is a brushed DC engine, <laughs> not a brushless. <laughs> and you have like these two uh, Kohlstoff borstels. Um. Yeah, graphite brushes, I think it's called. I don't know. The graphite st sticks, I think. And that's just doing the thing. And the spring here that came loose just keeps those two neatly tucked under there. So, another item fixed. Yay! Mm-hmm.